heads up motor bearing replacement. So I've already re done this one here, nice and smooth. And now we're going to do this one. It's got bad bearings, you can see in there. It's really pressed down in there and not looking too healthy. So the first step, you're going to need a driver. You're also going to need new bearings, a long screw, two washers, and three nuts. So what you can do first, what I found on the heads up motors is you're going to want to start on the bottom bearing first. The top one's a bit of a bitch, so start at the bottom. And you can see, I'm not going to see it on camera here, but if you look at your motor, you'll see a little gap between the two bearings. You just want to get your driver right there in that gap on the edge. Take your driver, banging device. I'm just using pliers, you can use a hammer, whatever, and then tap, and then turn, and then tap, and then it should start pushing out the bottom, we'll come right back once I have some progress. So I popped out the bottom, no bearing. And I started on the top. You see it poking out there on the top. So I'll finish it off on camera here. If I can, it's gonna be a little hard. What you wanna do is tap it, rotate, tap it, rotate. It's a little tedious, and I hate doing this, but motors are all gone. So this is the only option we got. And I want to finish this, because it's hard to try to do and stay on camera. I'll be right back. Alright, I got both bearings out. You can see the hole is now empty. No bearings in there. So now, for the big step. The reinsertion of the bearings. So, the order is, take a washer, on a long screw, then, take the old bearing, here. Put on the old bearing, and you take your new bearing. Here, you put on the new bearing, and then you put it through the motor, and then you want to reverse that. So you put your new bearing on first, then your old bearing on, then the washer, then your M3 nut. And you want to just get that going there. Tighten, 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 tighten. You need to take a driver. Just snug it up. Make sure it's nice and snug by hand. And then, where's my pliers? All right, here we go. Take the pliers, hold that M3 nut, take the driver, and tighten slowly. And what that's gonna do is evenly distribute the pressure of that screw onto that washer. It's gonna allow us to get these bearings pressed in 
So, I just made a mistake you don't want to make, which is let that screw go sideways and cock sideways on you while you're tightening. You want it to stay straight. And then you just tighten it down. There we go, now that I got it straight, we're moving, we're pressurizing in here. Bearings going in, slowly but surely, and tighten it till you get some resistance. Give it a little, a little bit of a slight turn, just to get them in there snug. And then back everything out. Loosen up your M3 nut Here we go Take everything off Old bearings out Old bearings out New bearing Nice and flush Same on the bottom Nice and flush no damage to the bearing because you use the old bearings as buffers so they took the pressure which you already ruined those taking them out so it's not even that big of a deal and you got fresh bearings and take a fresh bell oh he's got the screw pre-installed on this one take that out Pop that new bell in chunk. Screw in chunk. And you got yourself a brand new heads up motor. Smooth like a baby's bottom. If you got any questions or any tips or if there's anything I missed you think I could have done better, let me know. But I hope this helps. Peace out.